Hey, I'm Braden O'Gwen. Welcome back to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Jack, and he'd like to know, what's new with the big HTTP update? Thanks for the question, Jack. The internet has been using the same transfer protocol for the last 16 years. HTTP2 is an exciting change in the protocol that's going to make your pages load a whole lot faster. Multiplexing, server push, and a change in format are the biggest differences, with some minor improvements here and there. First off, the big one, multiplexing. With HTTP 1.1, every file sent is expensive because it blocks all other requests and has a high overhead for latency. Developers inline and concatenate their code and use sprites for images, so they end up with fewer requests for bigger files. HTTP 2 improves on this with multiplexing, which allows multiple files to be requested and sent at the same time, replacing ordered requests so the page can start loading multiple files immediately. Waiting for one massive index.js file to load is a thing of the past. Second, servers can preemptively send files to clients with server push, so that they have linked CSS and JS files in their cache before the HTML file they requested ever asks for them. And if the client already has that file, they can refuse it. HTTP2 implements a way for requests to be canceled without closing the connection entirely, which also helps improve performance. HTTP2 adds a bunch of small tweaks to optimize load times, such as header compression, which makes small requests faster, which is going to be most noticeable on mobile platforms. It also cuts the client and host down to one connection, so we can expect to see a decrease in work for servers and networks. Faster requests make it possible for us to use encryption without seeing heavy impacts on performance. Firefox and Chrome, which already support HTTP2, will only use requests that are encrypted with TLS. That's a huge win for internet security. Requests will now be made in binary rather than plain text. Binary is more compact and easier to parse, which means faster and less error-prone requests. And there are no scary backwards compatibility issues in HTTP2. All of the request methods are still there, headers and status codes are safely how they've always been. HTTP2 is not a plug and play silver bullet that will magically speed up all web performance. Instead, it's a broad range of shrewd and forward thinking changes to the hypertext transfer protocol that set the web up for solid improvements in request times and security. In fact, some of the more radical improvements are left out of HTTP2 and are already being planned for HTTP3. You can try out HTTP2 now. Download the latest versions of Firefox and Chrome and use the H214 protocol to give it a try. You can also check out some server implementations on GitHub. That's it for this episode. Tweet your questions to hashtag askadev or leave them in the comments below.